For a long time, people have been asking me if Yandere Simulator will have hall monitors or other types of characters whose job is to patrol the school and punish the player for misbehavior. Japanese schools don't have hall monitors, so I felt reluctant to put such a feature into the game. However, numerous anime have something similar, a disciplinary committee, a group of students who have the authority to punish troublemakers for breaking school rules. I haven't been able to find any evidence that disciplinary committees actually exist in real life, but they are pretty common in anime and manga. Yandere Simulator is a stealth game, but it's not designed around the concept of dodging enemy guards who are hunting for you. It's designed around the concept of walking around in plain sight and having friendly interactions with your classmates. The idea is to put on the facade of being a normal student while looking for the right opportunity to use violence or social sabotage to eliminate your enemies. Obviously, the player is supposed to avoid detection when doing something illegal, but the game wasn't designed around the concept of hall monitors or a disciplinary committee patrolling the school. However, a new set of students is being added to the game, who basically have all of the properties that a disciplinary committee would have. I'll explain why they are being added to the game and what will make them different from other students. Over the course of Yandere Simulator, the player must eliminate 10 rivals. Their identities have already been revealed. The final rival is Megami Saiko, the student council president. Because she is the final rival, she should be the most difficult to defeat, by far. I've come up with a lot of ideas for ways to make Megami much more challenging than any rival to precede her. I'm going to keep most of those ideas a secret, but I'll tell you one thing. I think the student council should be one of the factors that makes Megami difficult to eliminate. Megami is a serious young woman who strives for excellence in all things. This made me interested in trying to imagine what type of people Megami would want alongside her in the student council. They would have to be the most elite students in school, and capable of keeping Megami safe from Yandere-chan. I had so much fun imagining these characters and coming up with ways to make them a threat to Yandere-chan that I decided the student council would be the next feature I added to the game. Although most details regarding Megami are going to be kept secret until she is implemented in the game, there are four things I'm willing to divulge. Megami has a reason to believe that there is a dangerous person on school grounds. Megami has a reason to be suspicious of Yandere-chan. Megami is absent from school for nine weeks because of family business. And Megami is forbidden from speaking about any of these things with anyone at Akademi High and is forbidden from taking direct action against Yandere-chan. You won't learn where Megami got her information or who she takes orders from until the 10th week of the game. Megami cares about the members of the student council, and she doesn't want to see any of them harmed. She hasn't violated her orders, but she has warned the student council to be extremely cautious over the next 10 weeks. As a result, members of the student council will be more alert than normal students. At the beginning of each day, the student council will already be inside the school before the player has even arrived. Instead of spending most of their time standing in one spot, they will patrol the school actively looking for troublemakers. Because they have been warned to stay alert, their field of view will be twice the size of a normal student's, and when you are misbehaving within their line of sight, they will detect you twice as fast as a normal student would. If you get too close to them, they will push you away. If you approach them from behind, they will hear your footsteps and turn around. Additionally,
they are authorized to pepper spray and restrain anyone who makes themselves a threat to the safety of other students. This means that attempting to directly attack them will result in an instant game over. This will also happen if they see you trying to commit murder or trying to dispose of a corpse. Currently, if a teacher catches you misbehaving, Yandere-chan is immediately expelled from school. This isn't the way it's going to work in the final game. In the final game, the teacher will send you to the guidance counselor, and you will have to explain your actions to her in order to escape punishment or reduce your punishment. I'll elaborate more about this in a future video. Anyway, this feature isn't in the game yet because the counselor isn't implemented, but if a member of the student council sees you misbehaving, they will send you directly to the guidance counselor, just like a teacher. No other student in school will operate this way. If you want to, you can walk up to any member of the student council and speak to them, just like any other student. But because they take their roles very seriously, they won't get too friendly with you. They won't accept your apologies. They don't care if you compliment them. They do not participate in gossip. They won't do favors for you. And they are immune to the effects of seduction. One day, it will be possible to do tasks for them in order to get on their good side. But that hasn't been implemented into the game yet. Towards the end of the day, the student council will congregate at their club room to have a meeting. This is the only time of day when they won't be patrolling the school. Yandere Dev, Yandere Dev! Don't worry, I know exactly what you want to ask. You want to know if it's possible to sneak up behind a member of the student council and kill them with a stealth attack. The answer is, yes, it's possible. However, Do you remember what I said about Megami and the student council? She cares about them, and she doesn't want to see them harmed. If one of them dies, she will violate her orders and do everything in her power to make your life as difficult as possible. She will have security cameras and metal detectors installed at school, which will make it much more difficult to transport weapons or get away with crimes. Additionally, these security measures will create an oppressive mood in the school, permanently lowering school atmosphere to the lowest level. As a result, your reputation will be damaged more easily, and students will notice your behavior more quickly. The surviving members of the student council will have an even larger field of view and will detect you even faster. Once security measures have been installed at school, the school's atmosphere will never rise back to its original level ever again. In short, killing a member of the student council is like permanently setting the game to the hardest difficulty mode. Yes, it's possible, but the consequences are so severe that it's probably not worth it. Right now, the implementation of metal detectors and security cameras is very simple and is likely to change in the future. For example, if you walk through a metal detector while carrying a weapon, it pepper sprays you and alerts a teacher who apprehends you. I'm pretty sure there are no metal detectors in real life that instantly neutralize people like this, but that's the way it's going to work in the game just for now. If you're spotted by a security camera, you won't get a game over immediately, but if the police arrive at school and review the security camera footage, you will get a game over. To avoid this, you'll have to delete the evidence. Once security cameras and metal detectors have been installed at school, the school's announcement room will be transformed into a security room. That's where you can find a console that will allow you to delete video footage and even disable security cameras and metal detectors. As of now, 
This is an extremely simple one-step process, just to confirm that the feature works. In the future, the announcement room slash security room will be a lot more fleshed out, and the process of shutting down the security system won't be so easy. Yandere Dev, Yandere Dev! Let me guess. You want to know if it's possible for Yandere-chan to join the student council. It's not currently possible, but I have put some thought into it. I think that being a part of the student council would grant the player numerous powerful benefits. So joining the student council should require the player to meet some very specific criteria. The student council would only consider letting you join if you have a high reputation and numerous friends at school, you have never been sent to the guidance counselor, you have never had a negative reputation, you have never been late to class, and you have done a favor for each of the student council members. Most clubs would only ask Yandere chan to participate in club activities once a week. The student council would have mandatory club meetings once per day. Additionally, the player would have to perform five council activities over the course of the week. Examples of council activities are reporting a misbehaving student, resolving a dispute between two students, carrying documents from the student council room to the faculty room, or vice versa, speaking with every club leader and asking whether or not they need help with something, and obtaining information that a student council member has asked for, potentially through stalking or secretly recording. If the player fails to perform any of the above activities at least five times over the course of a week, they would be ejected from the council. Additionally, any of the following criteria would also result in being ejected from the student council. Going a single day without attending the daily student council meeting, being spotted doing something wrong by any student council member, being sent to the guidance counselor for any reason, being more than 30 minutes late to class, or developing a negative reputation. So, what kind of benefits would the student council grant that would make all this trouble worth it? You would be able to ask students for favors without having to befriend them first. This means you could command any student to leave the area, distract someone else, or follow you. You would be allowed to be 30 minutes late to class. Teachers would simply presume that you had important student council business to attend to. You would be allowed to walk anywhere at any time. You would never get in trouble for trespassing, except in the boys' bathroom. People would let their guard down around you, so people would take twice as long to be alarmed by your behavior. Also, once Megami starts attending school again, you would unlock the ability to... Well, I can't tell you about that. It's a spoiler. But it would be the biggest benefit of being a part of the student council. You may be thinking, if Megami doesn't trust Yandere-chan, why would she ever allow Yandere-chan to join the student council? Well, if Yandere-chan meets all of the criteria to join the student council... Megami would draw one of two conclusions. Maybe I was wrong about her. Maybe she's not the person I thought she was. Or, maybe, if I let her join the student council, I can keep a close eye on her at all times. For one or both of these reasons, Megami would be willing to permit Yandere-chan to join the student council, if she meets the criteria. Even though Yandere Simulator won't have hall monitors or a disciplinary committee, the student council will fill that sort of role. They will patrol the school looking for troublemakers, operate differently from normal students, and won't be easy to eliminate. You'll be able to see them for yourself when I release the next build of Yandere Simulator, tomorrow. There's actually a lot more that I still want to say about the student council, but it has nothing to do with game design or gameplay mechanics. It's about their appearances, their personalities, their animations, and the traits I've given them to make them stand apart from other students. 
talking about that stuff would make this video way too long. So I'll elaborate about the Student Council in my next video, which will be released 24 hours from now, alongside the new build. Thank you for following the development of Yandere C Yandere Dev! Yandere Dev! Huh? What's wrong? Didn't I answer all your questions? I didn't get to finish talking. I wasn't going to ask a question. I was going to remind you to tell everyone about the new merch. Oh, right. I almost forgot. There's a new shirt on sale in the Crowdmade store. I'm really happy with how this one turned out, and I hope you like it as much as I do. Visit the link in the video description if you'd like to check it out. And as always, thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator.